Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. Ah. So we're all squeezing here behind the bed. Why? Yeah, we are. Because, tell him, Mason. Say, we are we building a headboard. <laughs> We decided to get back into getting this house a little more decorated and put together because yes. we did a lot of stuff before Mason came and then <laughs> it's hilarious. And then we haven't done anything uh -huh. since we had him. So yes. we um, actually painted, we, no, that that's angle. a terrible angle, hold on. <laughs> so we painted our walls this um, light bluish color, which is really cool. We spent like all day a few days ago doing that And now we're building our own headboard and I'm so excited. We're gonna get all this done measured out I'm gonna start cutting and it's gonna be a different little vlog. This is gonna be more of like a DIY DIY really. do it Yourself this should not be a tutorial because we've never made one before uh, so I wouldn't use this as like... Don't do as we do. Yeah. <laughs> this is just gonna be more us documenting our experience here. So this design here is actually something that we're building out of a half inch piece of MDF and it was originally just a square. We decided once we got it up here against the wall, we felt like we wanted something a little bit more unique, something a little bit cooler than that. So I'm drawing out a design on there that I'm going to translate to the headboard and it's gonna be really cool, I hope. We're gonna create it out of this MDF frame and then inside of the actual headboard, we're gonna put some egg carton mattress foam that you can buy at Walmart for like 10 bucks. We got a couple of those, we're gonna stack on and adhere to the surface of this MDF. All right, Mason, show them what we did. Okay, so I also measured with a lot of math all these little dots here are gonna be little holes I'm gonna drill for buttons that Ashley and I are gonna to make to make a tufted headboard. So we're gonna get all that done. I'm excited about this. I've never done it before. We've never done it before. Uh, it sounds like it's really easy, but who knows? Uh, it could be a very long process. All right, I'm taking a little break from the headboard making to make us some lunch. And I don't know about you guys, but I've always felt like pimento cheese is like for the older folk. I don't know why I've always felt that way. And plus I've just kind of always been turned off by it because it just kind of looks weird. Um, I think I tried it like a long time ago and was not a fan. Um, but my mom made some the other day and oh my goodness, it was so good. I could not stop eating it. I felt bad because I ate like all of it and then nobody else could have some, but. So she told me how she made it. I went to the store um, ASAP, obvi. So that's what I'm gonna make us um, for lunch. And I don't know if Brandon's a big fan, but I told him that he has to try this because that's part of good. Moment of truth. So I have to take a, a, a little break here from all of the work upstairs to try this pimento cheese. I've never had pimento cheese. I've seen You never it. had it? No. Well, I think I've only had it once. I've seen it, I've heard about it. I've, I just I always felt like just the name sounded weird, so I always stayed away. Me too! Yeah. So I'm a little nervous about this. All right, how much do you put on? How much do you slather on? It's like that much? Oh, but that's plenty. Do I less than that? It's, that, it's whatever you want. What do you think? <laughs> Don't lie to me. What do you think, Mason? You wanna try some? Oh, there's the kick. It's just a little kick. It's not bad. Oh, jalapenos? Don't laugh at me. Is that funny? I'm not bad. Not bad. You have to get used to it. 
All right, so I'm now down in the garage getting ready to start the actual cutting of this headboard. I've got my plywood here, my scrap template. I've already drawn out the actual slope here and what this design is going to look like. And once I cut this out with the jigsaw, I'm going to transfer that to the actual MDF. accident more so as a miscalculation what happened was by the way look at her let's just go ahead and show everybody what we got so far this is so like, nice and soft and fluffy and nice and his leg Aww. on it it's super cute oh <laughs> is it comfy is it soft you like it yeah is it good so we have <laughs> good job buddy so we got this stuff months ago just a long time ago and I measured everything really well or so I thought this fabric that we have literally doesn't go all the way to the edges so I thought sad. It see this is the problem y'all this is the problem so because of our miscalculation from months ago we cannot continue right now and I want to finish this tonight so we're gonna run to try and find more fabric and hope we can find fabric that we like all right, we're gonna go to the store. Let's go. All right, we're all done. Got our essentials, some root beer, and got the fabric. Pit stop. Pit stop. Decided we, we're not cooking tonight. We're not cooking tonight, no. Where are we going? Where are we go? Where, uh, where did we end up? We ended up at this sushi place. What, why did I say like that? <laughs> <laughs> we're getting sushi. Yay, I know Mason. I'm pumped. Mmm. Rock and roll sushi. What are you having for dinner? Are you having chicken and avocado? We're gonna finish our dinner here and then we're gonna go finish our headboard, hopefully. Uh, we're gonna make tons of buttons while we watch TV because it's gonna take a long time. But uh, we're hopefully gonna get it done very soon. This is our our evening tonight, watching the debate, making some buttons. Here are the buttons. Look at that. Nice and neat. All right, we've got six so far. I hope these work, buddy, I do. It's gonna be a long night. I think uh, we have 40 more to go. Right. 40 of these. Yeah. Looks like I'll be having an ice cream break. <laughs> I'm tired, it's late. We only got half the buttons done and we gotta go to bed. Anyway, we're going to uh, continue this journey of making this headboard uh, tomorrow, which is now. All right, it's the next day and I am not looking forward to making more buttons. My fingers turned purple last night, but we're gonna keep it going. We're gonna get this headboard done today. We have to, because I wanna use it. So, 24 more buttons to go. Here we go. Look at this, guys. There's the headboard so far. It's all tufted. So I'm gonna show you how I did this. It's a little bit of a process. It's taking quite a bit of time. So first things first, I've got some waxed thread I'm gonna use. I get about, ooh, it sounds not good. Cut this, get your needle, thread the needle, grab a button. This is gonna go on the back. And it's gonna hold the button in place on the front side. These are the buttons that I will use to actually make this tufted headboard. So I'm gonna take this needle and go around the back here. All those holes I drilled last time, 
on the actual board here. I can actually stick this through, pop right through, take the button, go through once, go through a second time, pull. Once you do that, we're gonna tie some knots. All right, so I finished all the buttons. I took forever, but I got it all done. I really can't recommend enough some Gorilla Glue because about six of these buttons popped off in the middle of the process of securing them. And that is so frustrating, especially when you're almost done and the last one pops off and you have to go make whole new buttons. So if you're gonna do it, Gorilla Glue. So now I have also started securing the back. If you wanna take a look back here, it's not as uh, as exciting as the front, but I'm stapling the fabric now to the back here. I've already gotten most of it done. I just had to get the back down there. You can see all my buttons back here, they look pretty nice. I've got a French cleat that I picked up at uh, a home store. This is a really great little thing here because I can secure this to the wall and I can hook the headboard straight to the wall right there. So that way it's not gonna move on me. It's not gonna have to be secured or anything. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna install this, finish stapling the fabric on, and then we're gonna hang it on the wall. Okay, after all this time, it's finally done. I just got done hanging it. Ashley helped me get it up there. It was not that bad, but it wasn't super easy either. So here's the big reveal. So I think it turned out pretty nicely. It's all done. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this, I, we kind of had fun making this little DIY tutorial video. If you want to see more of these things, please let us know in the comments below because we do projects in the house all the time. And if you want to see some more of that or see kind of how we do some of the stuff that we do, let us know. Tell us. So if you enjoyed this, like it, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.